Drop the gun, you are under arrest. It's the clash of the Robo Titans. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting the justice hungry Robocop against the time traveling Terminator. Serve the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. You're close. Give them to me. If you think the comments are going to be heated for this video, you should have seen the debate in the WatchMojo office. And yes, we are aware there was a comic and video game of the two coming face to face, but for this one, we're sticking to their movie canon. Round one, appearance, strength, and toughness. How could that man just get up after you did- not a man, machine. This guy is really good. He's not a guy, he's a machine. Whether he's flexing his pecs in the bar, riding a motorcycle, or staring you down with blacked out sunglasses, the Terminator is a character you don't want to mess with. When it comes to sheer brute force, his uber strong limbs, lack of compassion, and the ability to make minor repairs to himself pretty much make him an indestructible and unstoppable badass. On the other hand, we have Robocop, with his jacked up police armored robotic limbs and face grafted onto a metal skull. Programmed to stop crimes, prevent danger, and serve up entrees of justice in Detroit, Alex Robocop Murphy is a crime fighter designed to clean up the streets. <laughs> However, his repressed memories and human emotions can make him a bit vulnerable at times. Bucket Boys Online. From a durability standpoint, Robocop may be able to take a few more hits, but when it comes to determination, we gotta give it to the Terminator. Winner, Terminator. F you, asshole. Round two, backstory, origins. Terminator kicks off this one with an origin that jumps up and down the timeline. If we uplink now, Skynet will be in control of your military. The first movie iteration of the Terminator was a T-800 Model 101 a robot assassin sent back from the machine-ridden future by the self-aware defense computer Skynet to prevent the birth of a human resistance leader, John Connor. It must do this by murdering John's mother, Sarah. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop, ever. The next film saw the same model of Terminator sent back from the same doomed future to protect John Connor after he was born due to reprogramming. Get down. <laughs> then we have Robocop. Although originally leading a happy family life, good cop Alex Murphy has his life cut short on the job in crime ravaged Detroit. Your ass is mine. After being brutally dispatched by a street gang limb from limb, Murphy is left terminally injured, but is thankfully saved by Omni Consumer Products. Bring in the LED. Lock it down. Becoming the crime fighting cyborg known as Robocop. We've got to give this one to the phoenix that rose from the ashes. Robocop. Winner, Robocop. Well, give the man a hand! <laughs> <laughs> Round three, intelligence. The Terminator's sophisticated artificial intelligence is rooted in its determination to complete a mission. This means it will do whatever it takes to complete its directive, be it tricking someone by mimicking a voice, acting as a DIY doctor, or even playing detective by tracking down someone's whereabouts. And did we mention the Terminator's knowledge of all of Earth's weaponry and combat throughout history? The 45 long slide with laser sighting. These are brand new, we just got them in. That's a good gun. The Tin Man also has a knowledgeable advantage over his opponents, as he has expert police training programmed into his circuits. This means he can storm a room full of bad guys and use his tactical skills to clear them out using a precise targeting system. But with an encyclopedic knowledge of everything deadly, this one goes to Skynet. Winner, Terminator. I have detailed files on human anatomy. I bet. Makes you a more efficient killer, right? Round four, 
weapons. The great thing about being a cybernetic organism is that you can pick up and use pretty much anything as a weapon. Phased plasma rifle in a 40 watt range. Hey, just what you see, pal. Terminator doesn't necessarily have a holstered favorite, but give him a grenade launcher, 12 gauge shotgun, minigun, or anything else that a human might find a bit cumbersome to carry, and you can see his mechanical prowess go to work. Excellent. Robocop is a bit different. He is a Swiss Army knife of pure firepower. Allow us to give you the tour. Ordnance grenades in his left leg, multifunctional arm with machine gun and flamethrower, a data collecting tool that doubles as a nifty shank, and of course, his iconic spaghetti western spinning custom auto 9 machine pistol. Shit. We gotta give this one to the cop who doubles as a one man army. Winner, Robocop. Round five, quotes. Your move, creep. In this category, the effectiveness of the Austrian accent just cannot be ignored. Thanks to the Terminator's baritone pipes, he is a walking jukebox of diverse quotes, be it simple requests. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Or a playful trash talk like. Chill out, dickwad. The Terminator literally has a retort for every occasion, be it a send off line. Hasta la vista, baby. A heroic catchphrase. Come with me if you want to live. Or even an insanely memorable way of leaving a room. I'll be back. With his police background, Robocop's famous quotes are all centered on him asserting his authority with the bad guys. Better alive, you are coming with me. His quotes also reflect that he is a mind controlled robot. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. And as the movie goes on, we see his human side eventually come through. I can feel them. But I can't remember them. But for pure cinematic goosebump inducing Nirvana, Terminator nabs this final round. Winner, Terminator. Don't do that. Verdict. Fighting its way to the finish line with a score of 3 to 2, the Terminator wins by a nose, or robotic arm, I guess. It seems that you just can't tangle with a time traveling assassin. Did our verdict make you short circuit? I'm having trouble. Be sure to debate in the comments, and for more videos published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You are terminated.